We are still underway in the conversation regarding development of futsal and state of the game in the country with James Omondi, director, Big James Connect. <laughs> you know, James Omondi is my good friend, so we joke a lot. Jemo, yeah, yeah. so you were talking to us about your trip overseas when you visited Germany and, you know, yeah. you learned a myriad of things and you had to, you know, expose your players and even the officials to the sport. In Germany, how does it look like? It is already a popular entity? In Germany, it is a popular entity. You know football was made in Germany? Yeah. Football was made in Germany and uh, it's like even futsal was made in Germany. My friend, they have structures. They have structures, they have facilities to, to play futsal. And uh, for somebody to have the youth structures uh, in the regional uh, in the regions, it means uh, it started a long time ago. Yeah. And uh, in Europe, they have a league, a futsal league. Okay? They have a futsal league in Europe. And um, I think we need, to, we, we need to embrace futsal. It helps a lot with the development of these special skills uh, that you need, the modern footballer requires, to perform at the high, highest level. Mm. And uh, you know, next time again you're visiting the same country in August this year? Yeah, we are going back again. Is uh, it an invitational tournament? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we have two invitations. The one from 7th to 17th is foot, futsal and football tour. Oh. There's no tournament. You're going, guys will be trained, guys will play friendlies. But for from the 21st to 31st of August, there is a, the futsal tournament in Hamburg that uh, we, we, we believe the, after the tournament we are going to have in, in, in June uh, at Nyayo, uh, we'll do a select that will go and play in that tournament. Ken, this is a good opportunity for the sport to get introduced in schools and colleges and universities as well. Now that you, the governor, at Daystate University, I don't know. Mm. What do you seek to do and uh, probably what can James do to reach out to institutions across the country so that, you know, it yeah. can get infiltrated into schools? Because, you know, schools form the basis and uh, uh, they are pivotal in the success and breakthrough True. True. Of, uh, of our Kenyan sports. I don't know. Are you probably thinking on how you're going to reach out to I'm schools? I'm already reaching out to schools. Yes. You, you remember um, the ladies who won Chapadimba the last time yes. in Nairobi? Yeah, um, I'm introducing futsal in their school. And uh, I'm lucky we, we have this age category, 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds, uh, both male and female. So it is a, uh, it is a good plus for, the, for us. And um, uh, on um, Oledume Road, there's also uh, an international school that uh, have introduced uh, futsal. It's already underway there. It's already underway. So uh, mm, it's good you mentioned Daystar. Yeah. I was thinking of, of um, going to Daystar and uh, introducing uh, futsal. Ken, as the governor of Daystar, <laughs> now are you planning to, you know, uh, incorporate uh, his new idea of futsal? in yeah, schools, it, colleges and universities yeah, across think, the country? Yeah, I think uh, firstly in Daystar we could use that because uh, we only have two football teams and the number of people who want to play football is, is, is huge. You know, it cannot it's a get, scramble. Yeah, it's a scramble. So, you know, we can use futsal as an alternative to balance the two because it's also a free sport, as I've said, and True. you find the people, the age that is in universities right now, yes. people, you know, like to show what they can do with the ball. So I think it's a great idea. It is a sport that, you know, I'd really, really want to have in the institution because it's, it's gonna, it's, it will be exciting. It will be exciting to find a place, you know, I know we can, where we can use to play and how we can play it and the people will even want to play it. And also, um, as he said before, you know, you don't need a lot of time, you know, as it's starting. You just need to have your 30 minutes when yeah. you're done with class, you know. Yeah. You just go for futsal. Yeah. You know, it's indoors. You don't need to go to train on, on the grass and everything. So. Mm. I think that is something that I, I will definitely look at because, you know, I'm also a big fan of football. So, so Someone is, 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 is uh, being, you know, 
humorous here and tickling. Mm -hmm. Tom Ocell is asking, when you say futsal is a free sport, does it insinuate that, you know, it's a sport meant for those who are clueless and not talented? No. <laughs> free in terms of how it's played, you know. Free in terms of how it's played because, you know, you look at 11 aside, you look at the, the coaches are pointing for you at start. But in futsal, you look at people getting the ball, shooting from this post to this post, you know. It, it, it seems uh, less technical in terms of the structures of playing, but it's actually something that people enjoy doing, you know. Something that when you get there, you do not have to, 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 to listen much. You have to just be yourself with the ball, you know. Go out there and enjoy. Go out, and, out there and enjoy. But enjoy you don't need to be passionate about football. No. You, do you? you? You need passion to do anything. You need passion to do everything. Yeah. yeah. You That's need passion. very right. You need passion to do everything. But his point yes. is that when you play futsal, n you are not restricted. Yeah. You know, most of the 11 uh, aside teams, or the mainstream football, they would restrict the skillful players. Yes. Hey, I don't want you to go and dribbling ten, 10 guys. I don't want you to go and flip flop the ball all the time. I need you to control the ball and pass the ball. Okay? Yeah. But in futsal, you can flip it. You can give somebody, uh, uh, you know, some, you can do some skill. You go out there to enjoy. Yes. Futsal, futsal is for enjoyment. And it's, it's not gender and age restrictive. It is not gender and age restrictive. It's for everybody. You are 70 years old. Romario is still playing futsal up to today. Oh, the Brazilian legend. Yeah, Romario is still playing. Ronaldinho recently went to, to India and played futsal to help uh, popularize futsal oh. in India. You see, so we need this. Even us here in Kenya, we can get these good, good players who have retired. You remember there was a boy at Liberty some time back. He went to Israel called Baggio. Very skillful guy. Eh? He's not playing anywhere. So we can get this kind of skillful players, get them back to help us popularize futsal. You get the point? Yeah. Then we get things running. Yeah. To encourage these other skillful players to come to come and enjoy. Because not everybody will, will, will be successful with the mainstream football. So this is an alternative. Like beach soccer is also an alternative. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So this is an, another alternative for guys to express themselves. We have international tournaments for futsal, for the national team, like the Cup of Nations, like the World Cup. Why not? We can qualify for the World Cup with futsal before we qualify for the World Cup with the, with the, with the Arambe Stars. Yeah, so, so any sports to grow needs grassroots backing. Exactly. I don't know, what's your approach regarding working with counties and uh, stakeholders at the Mashinani level to ensure that it also penetrates further for its development yes this is why we, you, you, uh, i'm telling you we are we are going back to schools we are yeah. we are reaching out to colleges we are reaching out to both public and private schools because that is where the players are and our vision is for these school kids to start playing futsal at that level when they grow up they grow knowing what futsal is so somebody will decide if he wants to play futsal or he wants to play mainstream football. But you give them that, that option of either playing this or this. Okay? Like the grassroots program for, for FIFA. You know FIFA, grassroots, guys misunderstand it. When somebody talks about grassroots uh, as regards football, they think that anything beyond, uh, below uh, the Premier League is grassroots. No. Grassroots football, as envisaged by FIFA, is from age 12 downwards. Yes. Okay? And once they reach 13 years, eh? 13 years old, now there's that, that, there's that uh, pathway. Some will be professional, some will be amateur. Okay? So when they reach here, they'll make that decision to either play competitively or play it for pastime. Okay, but you have to give every kid that opportunity to play football. That's why FIFA introduced futsal, FIFA introduced beach soccer, and mainstream football, so that anybody can 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 play football. That is a key, because there's a fight. There is there's judo, there's yes. badminton, there is tennis, there is ballet dancing, there is everything. 
So by the time they, fi they, they, they reach 12 years old, they'll make a decision. I'll either be a ballet dancer or I'll be, but there's some that will play football. There's some that will decide to play futsal. Maybe because futsal is played in a small area, it's 4v4, skillful, there's no restriction. They might make that decision, but we ought to give them that opportunity to make that decision. It seems the conversation is attracting significant interest. Ferdinand Opemi from Moyale is asking whether there can be improvised facilities for this sport to take uh, place. Because you had mentioned about, you know, tufts or something, where it can be played in gymnasiums. Now for the upcountry places like, you know, Moyale, where he's talking to us from, can there be improvised facilities for the yes. sport to take off? Yes. There because like be. I see beach football, beach volleyball, what one I come changa, yeah. it doesn't need to be necessarily at the coast or Ruko Kisumu where there are lake facilities. Yeah, it's true. We can improvise. Mm. How? Uh, you can get a, a grass pitch, get an area of 40 by 20, get a goal, get a yeah. goal. Guys can play. Okay? But you ought to know that uh, when you really play the actual tournament, you will play in a a gymnasium or somewhere enclosed. The actual competitive tournament? Yes, the actual competitive now tournament. Now for someone playing in an improvised environment and now probably there is uh, a well-sanctioned uh, competitive championship, will they have that aspect of right because of, you know, different facilities they have been getting exposed to? Maxwell, Yes. that is part of development. Ah. That is part of de development. Mentally, you become stronger. You train, you train in a grass pitch, but the actual tournament you are playing in the gymnasium, it's good for you. It's good for your development. It's a privilege. It is a privilege. Now you know uh, the speed of the ball has to be different. Uh, how I, I, I pass the ball, how I control the ball, what skill I need, what kind of shoe do I need to use. You know, these are kind of experiences. These are things you don't buy, you experience them. So that is the beauty of it. In Moyale, they can play in a grass pitch or if they have the, the sandy pitch, yeah, maybe they are, the texture of the ground there is sandy, they can play. It is good for them, it develops their muscles because you know, futsal is played uh, with small sided. Small sided games, they are more intense. Yeah. They are more intense, they think quicker. So it is good for them if they train in this kind of pitches. When they come to, to the main uh, arenas, it's easy for them. They'll have good f physical fitness, mentally they'll be stronger. They can face any challenge. So it is good. Ken, are you seeking to preach this gospel to your friends who've been relegating uh, priority in the teams they've been featuring for, so that you know they opt for futsal? Yeah, and I, not them also, but now you know this is something that you can get um, the, the females now to do more because yeah. you know sometimes they may not want to play mainstream football because True. of the vigor involved with the mm -hmm. size of the pitch and everything. Mm -hmm. But for futsal, you do not need uh, you need almost half the number of players, you know, half the number of the size of the pitch. So maybe that can be something to introduce them to this uh, to a contact sport. So it's something I definitely want to see more people pushing to the younger people first, you know, we want to get more of them into, but as he said, there's no age restriction, so you can push also to the older guys, but at the same time, I think, because we are starting it, and it's still growing in Kenya, I think it's best to reach out to the young people first, so that even if uh, it, uh, competitions are, are, are to be had in the first, you know, few months, you know, we get a, a vibrant squad, a vibrant team full of young people who are full, full of zeal, and also there's the avenue that uh, many, 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 Young, young boys, you know, they, they've played uh, FIFA before True. on their PlayStation and yeah. there is Volta mode, you know, mm -hmm. which has sort of put this thing in their mind that mm -hmm. they'd want to also play futsal because they see the pitches there, they see the number of players, you know, they see even how you can do skills on, 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 on the PlayStation, so they'd want to carry that forward. So I think uh, mm -hmm. it is a great time to grow this uh, futsal in this country. Yeah. And so now going forward, uh, what will be your message to those people who have ventured, who've never, who have not ventured into any sport and probably they are getting enticed by your rallying call. Me, I would encourage them to come, we play futsal. It is another avenue uh, to help 
improve the health of uh, anybody involved. It is uh, an avenue to expose yourself to greater things in this world. Uh, it is an avenue uh, to help us as a country. I'm joining because I need to go to German with you. In, in fact, <laughs> even, even, even you, I'll challenge you. You see at the parking, yes. you can make a 17 by... For sure! Yeah, you can make a I'm 17... I'm going to do that on Monday. By, you, you mark it by tape. Just mark it by tape, a 17 by ah. 33 area pitch, and then get small cones for goals. Then I'll give you one futsal ball. Then you, you, you can train in the evenings before... before. How availability is futsal ball? Uh, you can go to... Currently in Kenya, I think... Sports uh, house? No, you will never get them at sports house. Go to Decathlon at Karen. Oh. One goes for 2,400. One ball. That's affordable. Yeah. So you, you'll get a futsal ball. And then you, you, can, you, can, you can mobilize a few of you guys so that when we play the tournament in, uh, in June 10th at uh, Nyayo, you can come with your KBC team. I can come as a qualifier and take part in the <laughs> 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 qualification <laughs> process. Maybe <laughs> I might be lucky to get picked to <laughs> make the team for Germany. <laughs> and, and by the way, Max, you know, we, we, the goodness of futsal is that uh, the substitutions are rolling, rolling, rolling. And uh, when the ball goes out, the, the clock Futsal stops. and beach, football, are they related in a way? Um, yeah, in terms of rules, in terms of, you know, rules, the number of people ru featuring... Number of people, yeah. Per they, side? Yeah, they are, they, they, are, they are related because it's five a side. And uh, for, for, for futsal, you're allowed nine, nine substitutions. So, and it's rolling. That one, I'm pretty sure I have to make the team. So, I have to play. And this is why I was saying it is good for health. Even anybody struggling with weight can't play. If anybody struggling too? With weight, oh. can't play. He, he, he loves football or he loves to play, and, but the opportunity to play with 11 aside is impossible. With futsal, it is possible. He can't play even 10 minutes. He gets substituted again. He comes back again, you know. It is good for, for health. That is why I'm telling you, after office hours, you can train futsal for 30 minutes because of the traffic jam around here. Then when it's down, you can go home. Very fit. Wow, Jamo, it's been an insightful conversation indeed regarding futsal, a new sport in Kenya now getting infiltrated into, you know, uh, those who are passionate, especially at the Mashinan, and you said you seeking to partner with schools, colleges and universities and also go county level and ensure that you know stakeholders need to True. preach True. the gospel of the sport. Now, you are parting short your final submissions before we let you go. I would like for uh, potential partners to join us uh, because we, we are having the tournament uh, wow. on the 10th of June at Kasarani, at, at Nyayo and uh, it is not restricted to one partner. Yes. We can have seven partners. When you say partners. partner, are you talking of sponsors? Sponsors. Sponsors. Because we, they are kids. Uh, guys like Colgate can come in. Guys like... Uh, Ribina. Ribina can come in. Guys like uh, Coca-Cola, Fanta, Pepsi. Uh, they can come in and support these kids. They can support these kids in various ways. Uh, we are open. We have a website. Anybody interested to reach us out can reach us through uh, our website. Our contacts are there uh, so that we can walk this journey together to empower this generation uh, uh, with uh, something nice. So the last time you were alone, Gong Road at Ligindogo Grounds. Yeah. So right now as we speak, where do you carry out your operations from? Um, we operate from Kenya Science. Oh, Kenya Science. From Kenya Science. Apo karibu na met. Apo tu. Apo tu karibu na met. Uki, uki, uki pita tu impala, mm. roundabout, the next on your left. That is Kenya Science. Just go in there, uh, ask the guards. You're, you're going to Big James Connect. They'll show you. Someone mm. had missed me earlier. I think I had forgotten. Is it an elitic sport? Yeah. Is it meant for a little no. bit of class and, no. you know, no, or anyone can venture? It's for everybody. Um, MC Do is at Madare, 
that is where I train uh, futsal. Yes. Yeah, that is uh, that is based in Madare. Uh, futsal doesn't segregate, uh, segregate and discriminate, and it doesn't dis discriminate. Actually, we we embrace everybody, both boys and girls. There's no uh, ubaguzi. It's for There's everyone. no ubaguzi. I yeah. think that is James Omondi, director, Big James. Connect and former Kenyan international of the national team Arambe Stars joining us this particular afternoon to share his insights regarding futsal. A sport is pioneering in Kenya and is looking forward to its breakthrough uh, very soon as he even continues with these partnership programs uh, alongside schools, colleges and universities and taking it to the machine and the grassroots where I understand there might be some passionate following but due to lack of information uh, the sport might be hindered to grow. Thank you for joining us and coming through and always a pleasure having you on board James a very uh, congratulations for in introducing this sport and good luck in your ambition to make it better and you know compete with football thank you Max it, it is always a pleasure to come to your shows thank you thank you of course we still on until three o'clock don't go away stay tuned English football European leagues in general and what happened in midweek as far as UEFA Champions League and Europa League are forming the basis of our discussion up next. Stay tuned. It's the touchline.